Let's hear it. So I work for Unudo. It's a local company based here in San Francisco. And um, the goal of the company is to bring startups, investors, um, and judges, or anyone who would like to host the startup competition, to bring them together. And to do this, uh, we build an IT platform, uh, which makes it way easier to host any kind of startup competition uh, online pitch and risk collection or any kind of this activity. So that's basically what we do. We are currently not hosting any competitions in-house, but we're planning to do that as well. Um, and we are really working on building the community of startups and uh, those who want to run competitions, people looking for cool ideas. Um, yeah, that's, that's basically what we do. So if you go to, if you go to your website, uh, which is unoodle.com, um, and uh, in, can, will you list all the all the competitions that are using uh, unoodle? Will you list them? Which events? Yes. Are, okay. Yes, we have a page which is called Opportunity Finder, yeah. and there you will be able to see all the competitions that are currently open. Uh, I wouldn't recommend going to our website right now because we are currently rebuilding it, and very soon we'll be launching a brand new website which will be way more appealing. And How do you spell it? How do you spell it? Uh, you, you. It's you. you. And, and noodle as... Like a noodle? Yeah. You letter U, not Y-O-U. Y-O-U and O. Oh, that's Y-O-U. Okay, you noodle. Yes. <laughs> like I didn't know that it was you noodle. I, I you know, it's, it's oh, you can, you can take it apart in the competitions? Yeah, yeah. I use it like two or three times. Like explain to me how they did it. Like she made it a verb. Like I didn't know that it was you. How did you like it? Oh, it was good. No, it's pretty. You entered a competition. You you always win competitions when you use uh, you. <laughs> That's maybe okay. a way of drinking people Would you, um, like, if, what would be helpful for startups is, like, if you list all the demos and the competitions that are happening in different parts of the country and, you know, and any by day, and is we're, that something you're providing right now? We are planning to do that, and we are really trying to be a hub for all these people who are interested in the environment. We are currently working on preparing a lot of uh, studies and cases and um, doing the white papers and like distributing them to involve all that community and we're also working on um, preparing a lot of materials for all kind of stakeholders like how to run a competition, what to look for, like how do you get these ideas uh, for the startups, like how to pitch your idea, how to prepare all these packs for a submitted and um, yeah, so all kinds of materials that would help different groups of people involved in the process succeed in it. Not just run a competition for the sake of running it, and not just entering a competition just to randomly search for opportunities, but to do it wisely, like to be able to pitch your idea, to be able to um, get into the community that you want to get in. So can any startup founder who are about to pitch their um, startup venture and any competition that they're using you noodle an hour, can they come to your platform and do that practice thing and then get trained in, in the pitch process? Uh, we are currently not doing that and um, as far as I know we have never had any requests for doing like uh, live pitches or like doing video pitches or something like that so it's, it's mainly uh, like business plan submissions and uh, different case studies and market research. So that's what we're currently doing, but that's a great idea, like to do video pitches or something. Yeah, we are really working on to, uh, making this global to run as many international competitions as possible because that really creates uh, the trends and this is where you can get the best ideas. Um, yeah, so maybe kind of training could be yeah. really cool. Or yeah. What is the cost structure from the user's perspective? Are there so different only, models or? Only the host base. So it's free for startups. Uh, judges, of course, don't pay anything for being there. So 
yeah, it's, it's on the So what is the revenue model then <coughs> for it, you know, if you don't get money from the startup companies? The sponsoring companies pay. Oh, that is based on the sponsor. The organizer, the one who is organizing that competition. So okay, got it. They, 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 they so you guys that. got it. Okay. And like how much is it for event? We don't have any fixed price because the platform is very customizable. It really, it's like it's similar to website building, depending on what you want, depending on how many Androids you're planning to have, depending on what you would like to do with your data, like whether you want to store it or if you want it to be downloadable, depending on all these little features. And the company is from what country? It's a local company it's based in San Francisco. Oh, okay, because you have a very strong accent, so I thought maybe it was a foreign company. Uh, I am not from the US originally, I am uh, originally from Russia, but the company is local. Okay, I okay, got it. What are your roles within the company? Because you're all from Unibu? No. No. No, I just assume you have all the roles. Okay, so what is your role? We just uh, I, do, I do marketing. <laughs> Sorry, marketing? Okay. Okay. So, Ruoni is the one who has been in touch with me. I work with her. Yeah. She's my colleague. She's also doing marketing. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Just trying to remember the name. Okay, great. So, any of these guys can use the platform, you know, that's why I wanted uh, you to speak about uh, if you guys, you know, can you just check out? She's not going to tell us how much it costs, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's free. It's free. It depends. No, sometimes. Uh, if we want to run an event, then uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah. If you are a non profit, the chances are really high that you get the platform. Free, like for your event, just because you're a non-profit and really want to build the community. It's not only about monetizing the platform, it's more about building this environment and um, involving people into this dialogue. Because like this kind of event is really good, like it's face-to-face -face communication, you get the feedback, but sometimes you want to set bigger goals, like you want to reach out to international investors, or like get feedback from people from other countries. And so even like, let's say, Startups in Tunisia can organize a competition and have it uh, with judges that are based in the U.S. Because yes. you provide the judges. Yes. Imagine that's, that's awesome. awesome. Imagine so. Yeah, but like the, the only problem now, and now the problem was uh, is, is being solved. But like we had a uh, we have a very big problem with uh, transactions in, in foreign currencies. So. I mean, it's a one-time transaction fee, which is like would be done through PayPal or whatever. Yeah, but we don't have PayPal. Bitcoin. Bitcoin, yeah. <laughs> Bitcoin maybe, but yes. like Bitcoin, yeah. PayPal now, there are changing local laws to enable people to make these. Uh, yeah. But as stupid as it might uh, yeah. sound, we, we have a very big problem. Yeah, some, some countries do, some, some countries are not. But I love the idea, like how you're providing a technology platform, you're providing like the score structure in terms of the judges, and we, and all, all you somebody has to do is come over and participate, and then you can just pull everything together. Like we have a member base, right? If we want to organize like a demo day, it's just easy. You know, we pull in the right people, foreign investors, in, uh, investors who specifically invest in foreign startups, let's say, uh, who have a pattern to do that. Or maybe the startups that we are featuring are like, say, entertainment e commerce, and we ask here that can you provide us e commerce in, in our society? Exactly. It's, it's a very good platform. Yeah. And we have, by the way, we have judges from all over the world, so they're not only local judges. Okay. So let's say if um, we're currently launching several startups, uh, startup competitions in Latin America. So, like having someone like Ignacio would be really cool because he knows the market, he knows the realities of the market. Right. It's not only about judging the idea itself, like in vacuum. It's about judging the idea in yeah. the environment. Right. How do you select the judges? How did they qualify to? We have a network of judges, and then uh, let's say the client sets any parameters for the judges. We can sort by these parameters. Or like by the language definitely that they speak, it really depends on what language the answers are submitted in. Um, yeah, like their industry experience, whether they are focused on startups or whether they are more into investment. Mm -hmm. So we have all these filters and. But it could be also, I mean, the, the, the good part of having a network of judges where you can tap, right? And then they, I mean, that could be very useful also to create events where. You know, some people, I, I have once or twice to, to invite people for conferences and 
you know, it, it's time consuming and you, you have to find the right guy to talk about, right. about that. So that part is taken care of. What about being yeah. also promote the event? Would you promote the event? Uh, we can do that. Uh, we sometimes provide marketing support, but um, it's not like the, the major product. Okay. But we're also working on that because a lot of uh, startup competitions, they, uh, let's say if it's run by a non-profit, they just physically don't have resources to do that or they don't have the right people to do all these PR campaigns and to do the marketing campaigns. But we are already working on our own PR. So we can use the same channel to promote them, and Perfect. like to promote the winners or to promote the competition itself. Right. I think I, I see it more being utilized by someone like you know larger entities that are organizing you know uh, competitions and demo days, you know, and we kind of like fall and foreign startups kind of like falls into that. You know, two thousand members, you want to do a demo day. Right. So, that's good. Right, but we're we're really trying to split our product into several uh, like stages. Yes. Um, yeah, sometimes somebody needs a, just a judge or somebody needs a network of startups and they don't necessarily need the platform. Right. So we would definitely promote it separately if this is what the client wants. Nice. It's a la carte depending on what they want. Exactly. Okay. Nice. 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 Any questions guys? Do you work together? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, thanks, thanks, thanks for right now. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, let's cut it today, but uh, I want to ask because he was here for the Bitcoin talking about his stuff. Do you want to talk about your uh, stuff? Yeah, sure. Okay, this is a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. It's a good one. You know? Thank you.